Good evening, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to um, to my study. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see. Uh, good evening. Welcome. Um, my name is Yuna Father Taimin. I'm the vicar um, in the parish of um, you know Saint George Enfield in Freezy Water. This is my um, you know the study ever so messy study. Let me just so quickly turn it around so I may have a better angle. Is that okay? Fingers crossed. Uh, how was um, how was the Sunday? Um, I hope you all had um, you know a good peaceful um, reflective whatever the words that we can think about. Um, I hope you had a good um, you know the Sunday. Um, as many of you know, um, that the Sunday is quite a busy day for me. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds very weird. Of course, you know, Sunday we are, the priests, um, we were quite busy, but not only because of um, the Sunday service that we did um, in the morning, but also in the afternoon I have to drop, um, you know, I had to drop Stephen back um, to his school. So um, it's um, the school run um, for me. So um, now tonight, um, do we have Ronnie? Um, good morning, Carol. Good evening, good evening, and and other, um, you know, regular, the faithful regulars, um, the, wherever you are. Good evening, Ron and Dave, and um, wherever you are, I hope and and I pray that um, we can enjoy um, a short, yeah, just a little bit of you know, um, the time to reflect on um, our lives and then to think about, um, you know, the message of God. Um, I hope you are actually keeping everything well. Um, if you are, sadly, if you have to um, self-isolate yourself, um, God bless you. <laughs> I hope you're okay. But um, if you are still okay, that's good. Um, yeah, that's good news. Um, tonight, um, I don't think it'll be expecting... Um, I don't think that we expect um, you know, a huge number of people coming on, on a Sunday night prayer. Um, so it is going to be a quite small number of people. I think uh, we have now roughly 10 um, the people, um, 9 ish, you know, 10 ish. Uh, but we will see how it goes. Uh, good evening, Genius. Um, the welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, as you know, um, we do the thoughts for the night, about Sunday um, night. Um, good evening, um, the Gemma as well. She said, hello everyone, and then she's waving her hands. <laughs> and the Sunday night, um, we don't do the normal, you know, the thought for the night. The usual, you know, thought for the night is on Mondays and the Thursdays and the Fridays. But the rest of um, the days we're going to, um, I'm going to say, um, the short night prayer. So, um, before we go any further, I would like to encourage you, um, well, invite you to have a moment of quietness. Um, I think um, it's, it's, it's hard for us to switch from here to whew, like this. It, it's impossible. So, I know um, you might be, um, um, I don't know, I was doing some, you know, the work and then I suddenly realised that, oh, it's at 10 o'clock and then... It is not good for me. I know I'm, I'm terribly um, sorry because I should have you know, prepared myself a bit earlier, but you know that's our life. So um, let's have let's use this couple of seconds um, to bring our let's say our conscience you know, from the world <laughs> over there to a bit more private area, you know, and then let us prepare ourselves. Um, to be able to engage with um, the message of God. Okay. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins and heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread on the foot, our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. <clears throat> and tonight um, I'm going to read the Psalm 104. I'm going to read only you know, a couple of you know, the verses. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, how excellent is your greatness. You are clothed with majesty and honour, wrapped in light as in a garment. You spread out the heavens like a curtain, and lay the beams of your dwelling place in the waters above. You make the clouds your chariot, and ride on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, and flames of fire your servants. You laid the foundations of the earth, that it never should move at any time. You covered it with a deep like a garment. The waters stood high above the hills. At your rebuke, they fled. At the voice of your thunder, they hastened away. They rose up to the hills and flowed down to the valleys beneath to the place which you have appointed for them. You have set them their bounds, and they should not pass, nor turn again to cover the earth. You send the springs into the brooks, which run among the hills. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And, and today's short scripture reading is back to um, the Jeremiah. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. This um, this Jeremiah, a scripture from the Jeremiah, I think in the last Sunday I used, um, I read this one um, already, and this is not our first time, this is my second time to read this um, the scripture reading. Um, a very short passage from the prophet Jeremiah. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord, our God. It's a very short, but much to um, reflect on, on this, you know, the message. Um, I have to say this um, to all of you um, now. Um, for those who joined us at 10 o'clock for our parish mass, you will remember the sound was quite poorly today, and particularly um, today. I don't know why we, I, um, I, charge the batteries and then put a new batteries into um you know father vin's microphones and in mine as well but i don't know why but you know the receiver um, was keep saying oh it's a low battery low battery maybe the battery is gone completely gone but whatever the reason um the sound system uh, that um sound quality um of today was quite poorly 
and I know I should have done something earlier, but because of my, you know, the back pain, I could not actually um, set up our um, lockdown, <laughs> you know, um, the sound system. But I'll do, I'll do this, um, I'll do that um, during this week. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, by the next, um, you know, Sunday, the sound should be, sound should be um, good. But anyway, because of the sound, I'm sure some of you um, may have a bit of, you know, the difficulty in listening to, um, you know, what I had to say um, for my sermon. And then, of course, you know, that sermon followed by um, the Archdeacon, well, instead of, you know, an Archdeacon, we had to do it in our parish, you know, the, um, um, the um, induction of um, the church wardens. Um, what I said um, this morning was this, um, if I just summarised it, um, the importance of we responding to the call of God. Because God is calling us. God called us each by, by our own names. And then even, um, you know, like a, this, you know, scripture reading, um, today, oh Lord, you are in the midst of us. Well, God's presence is among us now. We know that. And, and we are called by your name. It is not us who called the Lord first. It is God himself who called us by his name. And then therefore, what we need to do is actually to say, yes, I'm here, Lord. You know, we need to respond to that call. And I think um, I just 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 put that um, as, a, as a main theme of my short homily. And then um, I introduced, um, you know, Dave Jenner and Ari Salima as as an example, as examples, you know, not only them. Yeah. But all the PCC members, for example, in our church context, for those who said, yes, Lord, I will do my best to serve your church. I'm not saying this tonight to encourage you to join in the PCC tomorrow. Don't worry. We all know that God is calling us. But also, I fully understand there is a time, the right timing there. So you may think, OK, it is not me now, but it may be you know, next year. Who knows? But I used, um, you know, Dave Jenner and Alayim Salima as an example. As a Christian who said yes to the call of God. We're all different, my brothers and sisters, I know. And then I'm called to be a priest. For example, Father Vin's called to be a priest, and then you know all the priests around you. They are, we are, the one who are called to be the priests in the Church of God. But I know not all of us are called to be the priest. Some of my friends are called to be the deacons in the church. Some of my friends are called to be worship leaders in the church. Some of my friends are actually called to serve it their own church as a PCC members, as a as a you know church wardens in all different areas. But the important thing is whether we can say, Yes Lord, I am here or not. God is calling us. God has been calling us for for more than a couple of thousand years, I think. But whether we can respond to that call or not. I think that is the important question that we need to think about. Well, I don't know what is the calling of God to you. Our Lord may calling you to be a PCC members or um, to be the student youth workers or whatever i don't know i don't know i don't know but whatever we do let us remember we're now god wants us to be here where we are now and then what we need to do is to be a living example of god's glory and of his love and his generosity i think that is 
the message that I wanted to share, um, you know, with you, um, you know, tonight. So, again, very short message, short passage, really easy to remember, but it will allow us to think and reflect on in so many different ways. So I'm going to read this passage again before I go a little bit further. Your Lord are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. That's from Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 9. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I command my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye and hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Loving God, at this time of a crisis, when so many are suffering, we pray for our nation and our world. Give our leaders wisdom, our health service strength, and our people hope. Lead us through these parched and difficult days to the fresh springs of joy and comfort that we find in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And Almighty God, by triumphing over the powers of darkness, Christ has prepared a place for us in the new Jerusalem. May we, who have this day given thanks for his resurrection. Praise him in the eternal city of which he is the light. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. So the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. So, to my brothers and sisters, now it's the time um, for me to say um, good night and goodbye. And then I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. If you were doing something, <laughs> whatever <laughs> it was, I yeah, pray that you may carry on enjoying it. And then if you decide to um, go to bed now, 
I hope you have, um, you know, the good, um, the relaxed, um, you know, good, you know, good night's sleep. Um, the temperature is actually dropping down. And then if you go outside, it might be, you know, quite cold. Um, and, you know, just make sure that you keep your body warm. And then if you had to actually whack your boiler on, don't forget to drink plenty of water, please. And then if your house, if the air becomes quite dry, and that is the best way for you to get a cold. I'm not talking about man flu, by the way. <laughs> drink plenty of water, not tea or no coffee. And then in that context, the water doesn't mean that wine or beer or anything. Drink plenty of clear, clean, pure water. Dear my brothers and sisters, okay? <laughs> I don't want to see you a <laughs> chew like that. Um, tomorrow um, evening, we're going to do um, the usual um, thoughts for the night. Um, yeah, but I do have another meeting at 8 o'clock, but I'm sure, I suspect, that I, we can finish um, the before 10. But um, I may need to actually begin in a couple of minutes late. But fingers crossed, I don't know what time we actually finish, but... Um, I'll, I think I'll be fine. And then again, on the Wednesday, Thursday, and then Saturday and Sundays, we do, um, you know, um, open the church. We do open the church for your private prayer. So if you'd like to know more about that opening hours, please drop us, um, you, know, um, you know, the message or to contact our parish office during the day. You will get some information about that, okay? Again, once again, this is my last time for me to say that. Good night. God bless you. I will see you all tomorrow night. Bye for now. Oh, by the way, thank you for joining me.